Well, hello, my beautiful friends. It is Monday, so you know what that means. It is time that we take a look at everything that's been announced for this week in the world of makeup and decide whether or not we wanna spend our hard-earned coin on it. So if you're interested in seeing what is new in the makeup world, then go ahead and keep on watching and let's jump right on in. All right, folks, let's go ahead and jump right on into a release that has a name that I feel like a lot of people blame the problems on, and that is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. Now, if you're not already aware, Mercury and Retrograde, I'm not entirely sure what it really is because I'm not exactly the smartest cookie in the cookie jar, but basically people like to blame the problems on when Mercury is in retrograde. I don't exactly know how it started. I don't really know what it's about, but I know that people like to say that when they're having a bad time, they're saying it because Mercury's in retrograde. I digress. Huda Beauty has come out with a new palette basically themed around this. And this is available as of right now and it retails for $67. Now this palette does include 18 different shades. It comes with mattes, shimmery, metallic, and foil finishes. And it looks like there is one glitter powder as well. Now this palette is pretty darn cute. I gotta admit when I first saw this palette my mind automatically went to things that I liked when I was really little. Now, I don't know if you guys are around the same age as me, but I'm 24, so I was very, very young back when Claire's was a thing, but I remember the early 2000s, like second grade, third grade, going to the mall and wanting to go to Claire's to look at all the, I love Ashton hats, like Ashton Kutcher, and like all of the very 2000s-esque items that were there, and Lisa Frank and all that jazz. I was about it, okay? I would go to the mall and go to Claire's, and I remember seeing makeup that was like this. They had the kids makeup there, the very early 2000s themed palettes, if you will. I remember those days and as soon as I saw this palette, that's all I could think of was those I love Ashton Kutcher hats. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just reminds me of Claire's in the early 2000s and Bratz dolls, more specifically Chloe the Bratz doll. The pop culture icons of the early 2000s. I'm getting a lot of Paris Hilton vibes when I look at this for some reason. I think it's really cute. Now, I really like the addition of the kind of more neutral half of this palette. You know, there's burgundies and there's some more peach tones and there are some more neutral shades in here, but then you have those beautiful mints and lavenders that just make it feel very space themed and early 2000s in my personal opinion. I definitely see the space theme here. I think it's just a combination of like mauve and lilac and mint that's giving me that Paris Hilton vibe. But I see what they were going for here. It's definitely got a cosmic feel to it, if you will. And I think it's a really cute palette. I don't necessarily think it's my kind of palette, although I do love the purples in here. I don't think I would really reach for the mint very often, and I don't necessarily think it's something that I would need to add to my collection, but if you are into this color scheme, I think it's a very unique color scheme. We haven't really seen too much like this. I think it's pretty, and I think it's unique. I just personally don't think that I really need it, but I can respect it. And I love that it gives me nostalgic feels for the early 2000s because I miss those days, let's face it, those were some amazing times if you grew up in the early 2000s like I did, and this is definitely giving me those type of feels. Now, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing the term early 2000s, so let's go ahead and jump on into the next release for this week, which is from Tati Beauty, which if the name doesn't say it, this is a new brand from Tati Westbrook, a huge YouTuber here. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about just by saying the name. Now, she just came out with the textured neutrals palette and this is the volume one palette so I'm sure that means that there's gonna be more textured neutrals at some point in the future this guy retails for $48 and you get 24 different shades in this palette now there are four different textures in this palette so you have matte textures you have sequin textures which are kind of like satiny shades with some subtle shimmers in them they're really beautiful and there are also metallics and glitter formulas now what's interesting about this palette is that each different column is a tone of a specific color so we have a plum tone we have a more burnt orange tone we have a cream tone a mauvey tone you get what I'm saying when palettes are set up in this way it's really easy to quickly decide what kind of look you want to do it's really easy to put together colors because they're right there just laid out in front of you you don't really have to fuss with searching around for different colors to all match together it's all right there in front of you and she also did say in her video that she made the mirror really really big in this palette obviously to use on the go but she also said 
side, you can use the mirror as a way of mixing different colors together. If you're working with foundation or if you're working with cream products, you can use that basically as your mixing board, if you will. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea, I suppose. I mean, technically you could do that with any palette, but I like that she pointed that out because I personally never would have thought to have used a larger mirror on a palette to mix different products together. Now, when I first saw this palette on Trend Mood, I really wasn't that interested, I have to be honest. I think the colors are beautiful, of course, but they're very neutral. They're very, I don't want to say basic because I feel like that's kind of rude, but they are a little bit more on the basic side of things. There's nothing too crazy about this palette. It's definitely things that we've seen before, and I was a little bit apprehensive because when I first saw the setup of this palette, I thought, looks like a Morphe palette, which I'm not necessarily super inclined to purchase palettes that look like Morphe palettes, especially for 48 bucks. That's expensive. But once I saw her swatches and once I saw her release video of this palette, I went on board to her website and I purchased it. I don't know what came over me, but something told me, you don't really have a palette like this, you don't really have that many neutrals, just go for it, just try it. The swatches that she did looked absolutely amazing. She explained pretty well on her actual video, you know, what makes her product different and how silky the mattes are. And I basically went ahead and purchased this for those mattes. They look like they blended so beautifully. She was talking about how she formulated them with translucent bases so that they blend super, super easily and smoothly. And they really did look like they blended very, very smoothly. So I don't really know if I'm gonna regret this purchase. There's a part of me that feels like I might because it might just end up being like any old Morphe palette or any old palette in general. Not to single Morphe out, I'm just using them as an example because that's what the palette looked like to me. But I went ahead and purchased it, which is crazy because I truly haven't purchased an actual large eyeshadow palette in probably six months. So I'm a little surprised that this is the one that I went out and purchased. I think it might just because I have a little bit of a nostalgic bone with Tati. She was one of the first beauty YouTubers that I watched and I've watched her since 2014, kind of here and there. Sometimes I go through phases of not really wanting to watch her. And sometimes I'm watching her all the time. It just kind of depends, but she's someone who I've consistently watched over, I don't know, the past five years or so when it comes to makeup content. So I have a little bit of a soft spot when it comes to her because I do really like her as a person. But I like this palette too, so it's not just that factor that is going into the reason why I bought this. I'm just a little shook that I bought this palette, not like the Huda Beauty Retrograde palette because that's more my speed as far as colors go. But there's something just very elegant and simple and easy about this palette and if the formulas really are as good as she showed them to be, I think that we'll have a really good, easy neutral palette on hand to be able to whoop out when you don't know what you want to do with your makeup and you want something easy. This is that palette if the formulas are actually as good as she said they were, which I'm really hoping that they are because 48 bucks is very expensive and I know I didn't really need this palette so I'm kind of regretting it but I'm really hoping that I'm proven wrong about it and that I do really enjoy this palette once I'm actually able to try it. So we'll just have to see. Only time will tell. What they say hello to the camera? She says, I'm being a grump. Probably the most adorable grumpy girl I've ever seen. Okay. Bye bye, Ruby. Next up, we have something new from none other than Melt Cosmetics. And this is their Amore Eterno Holiday 2019 collection. Now, I'm sure I'm gonna pronounce a lot of these names wrong because they are Spanish and I am not fluent in Spanish, even in the slightest bit. So I'm sorry if I pronounce some of these things wrong. I promise I'm not trying to butcher them, but I probably still will. But so far, we don't have a date for this collection or any prices, but we have seen what this collection is going to consist of. So we have two different eyeshadow palettes and I believe that both of them are pressed pigment palettes. We have the Muerte pressed pigment palette which consists of blues and navies and burgundies and even a few mint shades so it's a pretty unique palette. Then we have the Vita pressed pigment palette which consists of greens, yellows, oranges, and reds so very very on trend for the whole theme of this collection. Then we have a brush set which consists of six different eye brushes and they all seem to be vastly different as far as the type of eye brushes go. So so you get a nice variety and a nice mix of different brushes. And lastly, we have the Melt Digital Dust Highlight in the shade Illumination. And this highlighter has a beautiful skull pressed into it. It is an absolutely gorgeous powder that is this beautiful rose gold shade. It's stunning. 
I'm gonna read you guys exactly what Mel has to say about this collection from their Instagram. They say that this collection is inspired by traditional artisanal Mexican elements. This opulent collection includes four long wearing vibrant color gel liners, three bright liquid lipsticks, a gorgeously luminous digital dust highlight, and six elegant skull detailed bronze makeup brushes, and finally the eyeshadow palettes that honor both life and death. The packaging in the entire collection itself is inspired by Mexican culture and has these different types of Mexican elements to it to honor the culture. I think the collection itself is so freaking beautiful. They released it at the right time of year. Perfect for, you know, fall. These are very fall colors. I know Day of the Dead is coming up very, very soon. And they really represented their own brand with this collection. It's very, very on brand for them. And I do believe that the owners of Melt are both Hispanic. If not both, then I believe one of them at least is. Now, both of these eyeshadow palettes are super, super interesting. I think the Muerte pressed pigment palette, the one with the blues and the navies and the burgundy and that beautiful mint. It's such an interesting and unique palette and I've never seen anything quite like it. I think that the colors all complement each other really well while still being very bright and unique. And I think that the Vita palette is really beautiful as well. It's just not as unique as the Muerte palette. And I think it's just because of those beautiful mints being mixed with the burgundies and the navies. It just makes it so interesting. I've never quite seen any collection or any brand come out with palettes that look exactly like this. That being said, nothing in this collection other than the brushes are really my speed. I'm not super into the colors that they've released here, but I can respect them and I respect the collection because I think it's stunning, very on brand for them. I think a lot of people are going to love this, especially color lovers. It's just not really my cup of tea. If we had purples here or if we even had like rose gold mixed into here I think I'd be more inclined to purchase this but they're just not really my kind of bright colorful makeup that being said I really do like the eye brushes they came out with I wish I could purchase them in a single form I wish I didn't have to spend the coin on the entire brush set because that larger flat top eyeshadow brush is gorgeous I really want a brush where I can just easily fluff a transition shade all through the crease a really high quality brush like that that has larger bristles and I like the idea of it being a flat top brush because I'm sure you can pick up a lot of pigment and a lot of eyeshadow with that kind of brush. So I'm very intrigued by that and if they release that in a single form, even in a scenario where you're able to pick out three out of the six brushes to get it for like half price, I would totally do that. It's a very unique brush that I've never really seen anything like. So if you know of a brush that looks like that, let me know because I want to pick up that brush. I don't really need the other brushes so I wouldn't get this set, but yeah, I think it's a beautiful collection. I just personally don't really see myself finding a need for it but I do think it's a very unique take on a fall kind of day of the dead type themed makeup collection and I think that a lot of people are gonna like it it's just not really my speed now something that is totally my speed is the new collection from Kaleidos makeup now this is their space age highlighters that will be launching for pre-sale on October 24th and they will be shipping on October 28th now these puppies retail for $14 each and there are six different shades of beautiful highlight goodness in this collection now the names of these highlighters are all very space themed. We have Skywalker, we have Solar Sailor, so they're almost kind of Star Wars-y meets Sailor Moon, if you will, but you both have to do with space, so it makes sense. Now, I think that the actual colors they released are stunning. Like, hands down, Solar Sailor is the most beautiful bright gold that has a little bit of a white gold essence to it. We have Laser Glazer, which is a gorgeous golden -y green kind of highlight, which would be beautiful on the eyes or beautiful on people with deeper skin. But my personal favorite of this collection is a shade called Comet Catcher, which is described as a silky fluorescent fuchsia with a peach sheen. And they basically say on their Instagram, shower your senses with this cosmic burst of berry stardust. <sighs> I'm so, so freaking tempted to purchase this. I know I don't need it. Like, let's face it. Many of you here know that my absolute favorite highlighter in the entire world is Shady Glow Cosmetics' Chaos, which is a beautiful peach pink fuchsia with a little bit of champagne kind of trichromatic highlight i'm wearing it today i wear it almost every single day no matter what highlighter i'm wearing i always throw just a little hair just a little dash of chaos in there just to give a peach pinky tinge to my highlight i know it's a little extra and over the top but i'm a little extra and over the top so it matches this highlighter however looks so incredibly intense <sighs> i'm so tempted i'm so tempted oh my gosh 
Okay, I think I just made up my decision. I think for 14 bucks, I've never tried anything from this brand. I've been wanting to try something from this brand and I think the packaging on these guys are beautiful. They look like little, almost like mint tins, if you will, if you've ever seen a little tin that holds the little baby mints. I just think it's really adorable packaging and I think I was just sold by the description they put on their Instagram. I wanna spice up my makeup with a burst of berry stardust, like that sold me. So I think I am gonna go ahead and pick this up for $14. You know, I was on the fence, but 14 bucks is not that bad. I love supporting indie brands. I love pink highlighters, especially duochromatic pink highlights. So I think I just convinced myself into purchasing this. I know I don't need it, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Is that bad? Probably, but I'm excited about this one. But I have a very antsy cat in this room who wants me to be done filming and play with her, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. But let me know in the comments if you agree with any of these things I talked about for this week, if you're gonna be picking up any of these things, if there's any makeup products that I didn't mention that you think I would like or makeup products that you have a strong feeling about, let me know down in the comments below and let me know how you feel about this week's releases. But if you are not already subscribed and you enjoy looking at the new releases for the week, if you like hearing about new makeup releases, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and join the friend group here. This way you can join me every single week to talk about those makeup releases. But with that being said, I hope you are having an absolutely amazing and beautiful day wherever you are. And thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope to see you next time. Bye!